So things look a little different in the reptile room right now. It is almost 10 p.m. It is nighttime. All the enclosure lights are off. I've had a busy day. I went to the gym before this, so apologies if I look a little crazy. I am wearing my chameleon shirt and red snake print leggings, so I feel like it's fitting for a video. Venus just laid another clutch of eggs. Females will retain sperm, so I don't know if these are gonna be fertile or not, so I need to dig them up ASAP. She just finished laying them. They're in her bioactive enclosure. I didn't have a chance to put in her laying bin, so it's gonna be a lot harder for me to go digging for the eggs. Luckily, I saw her digging, and I saw her laying, so I know what part of the substrate they're in, but we're gonna dig them up. We're gonna see if they're fertile. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So Venus is sleeping right here. She still has a little dirt on her nose, so try it. Like, she's probably gonna wake up, that's okay, but I'm just trying not to disturb her. Hi, honeys. Oh, her little eye just woke up. She's been looking plump the last few days, so I definitely knew she had eggs. So they're in this back right corner here, uh, so you guys probably won't be able to see it very well, but I've got a cup and a spoon, and we're gonna get to digging. These are the colors she's sporting right after laying her eggs. Absolutely stunning. Okay, so I've dug, my hands are so muddy, all down here, down to the bottom. I'm still not seeing them, but there's this root ball. I know sometimes I like to lay against the root ball, so we're gonna keep digging around here. Oh, <gasps> an egg, an egg, I found an egg. Oh, it looks infertile. I don't know where the camera's at, but you can see it's kind of yellowy, half white, half yellow. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but doesn't mean they're all like that, but there's one. Those little white dots right there. Those are the little eggs. So we'll dig them out, see how many there are. All right, there's a bunch. Yeah, they're just like kind of white, kind of yellowy. I'm gonna wash my hands here and uh, then wash off the eggs and we'll see what we're working with. Okay, here's how we're gonna do it. We're just gonna take a little eggy, a little spritz. It's got like, oh, that's a dog hair. See like one tiny little yellow spot? And then it's white otherwise, so I don't know if that's any any good or not, but we'll put them in there. the final lineup it ended up being 33 eggs eight by four plus this extra one um, which is still within the normal clutch range we're looking for like 20 to 30 eggs ideally but I don't have high hopes for these because they've got yellow like all of them have a little bit of yellow on them so I'll reach out to my breeding mentors to see what their thoughts are but the golden rule is incubate until you know for sure so if these are in fact infertile, then they will eventually mold over. If they are fertile, then they will stay as they are until they hatch in like six to nine months. So that is that, you just never know, right? So a lot of females will retain sperm for two to three clutches. This is Venus's second clutch since mating with Neptune. So we will keep an eye on these and I will keep you guys updated. And here's just an update on Neptune and Venus's fertile clutch. So this egg, this egg, and this egg have for sure molded over, so I will be pulling those out. This one's getting a little mold. 
that one's getting a little mold. It, ooh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And that one's getting a little mold. So I'll keep an eye on those. But so far, we've definitely lost three eggs. Um, these could just be because they were never properly fertilized. There's a bunch of different reasons um, not related to the incubation process. So these guys are doing good. And then just a little side-by-side -side comparison. These are the eggs that were laid in September. And then these are the eggs that were just laid. I don't know if you can tell, but these are definitely bigger than these guys. That is a wrap, guys. Thank you so much for tagging along, even though it's way past my bedtime. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me questions or comments down below. Feel free to subscribe so when I post a new video. You can follow Neptune and all my commands on social media at Neptune the Chameleon. Be sure to check out my website, NeptuneTheChameleon.com. If you are interested in a Neptune and Venus baby, I do have a fertile clutch that is currently incubating, and I do have a baby chameleon application available on my website. Always, thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! There's so much ember I can hear your little feet out.